nästa gäst är en av Englands största komiker som har kallats Komedins Mozart. I maj uppträdde han i Sverige med sin föreställning Quam Peddler. Mina damer och herrar, welcome Bill Bailey! <laughs> Welcome, Bill. Tack. <laughs> good. Yeah. Very good. Very yeah. good. Uh, welcome. This is hey. Your... Hey. Is that the thing? Hey. Yes. Hey. 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 Is that hello? Hello. Ah. And hey, do. Yeah. Is goodbye. Oh. Okay. But, but, but stay, please. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. Uh, last last time you performed in Sweden, you you yeah. made jokes <laughs> about uh, about us, the Swedes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, we find A little it, bit. Yeah, we find it very funny. What, what do you think that is? That uh, we 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 love it when comedians from another country makes fun of us. Well, the first thing was that uh, um, I. It's very hard for me to get the pronunciation of the words right. It's very difficult because Swedish is. It's very melodious language. It's kind of sing-song goes to, up and down to my ears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so trying to just say Sweden, you know, in the proper way was hard for me because Sweden, obviously, Sweden is the English version of how you say it. But what, how do you say it? Sve Sverige. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No. Because <laughs> because it to me it's very hard to say that. I mean, it sounds like Sverige. It sounds like. <laughs> You're saying the word, yeah. and then you get distracted in the middle of the word. <laughs> like somebody taps you on the shoulder, and you go, where are you from? It's very... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> huh? You know, it's like... It's like somebody's... But... This is very interesting. Uh, I read that you're actually more Scandinavian than you are English. Yes, that's correct. Because I did a, um, a DNA test as part of a big project uh, with the Natural History Museum in London. And it's called the Genographic Project. And it's tracing people's origins back through Europe, back down into Africa. And so by taking a swab of my saliva, they use new techniques to discover where exactly I, my ancient ancestors came from. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, we all come from Africa, and then Africa, we came out of Africa, some of them turn right into India, some turn left into Europe, and then my ancestors were the last to settle down, and they ended up uh, in Scandinavia, in Denmark, actually. Mm -hmm. So I'm 60% Danish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. So, <clears throat> I know, it was a bit of a shock to me. Uh, yeah. I feel a bit, you know. I thought we'd uh, check Baltic. exactly how Danish this Englishman really is in a game we call Danglish DNA. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Beer! Yes! Woohoo! So, Danglish DNA. Oh. Uh, the rule <laughs> you, you went right for the the rules are I okay. ask you questions uh, yeah. that have one option that is more English and one that's more Danish. Okay. And based on what you choose, you take a sip of that country's beer. You have Denmark here yes. and England there. Okay. okay. You understand the rules? Yes. Okay. Oh, so let's find out how Danish you really are. Okay. Okay. Who made the best music, Liam and Noel Gallagher, or the Olsen Brothers? This is a trick question. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going with the Olsen brothers. Oh, you do? Now yeah. take a sip of the Danish. The Danish beer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah very good. Mm. Okay. Okay, you're mostly Danish. Okay. Where would you most like to go on vacation? Stonehenge or Legoland? <laughs> well, uh, I've been to Stonehenge, but I've also been to Legoland. And I have to say, it was far more exciting. So I'm going to say... Lego land. Lego land. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> How many cigarettes? This is the best game I've ever played. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I want to play this every day. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can <laughs> arrange that. How many cigarettes do you prefer your queen to smoke in a day? More or less than thirty cigarettes? More, more, more. Go for the Danish. Yes, <laughs> oh, brilliant. 
<laughs> this, is a, this is hard. What phrase are you more likely to say? God save the queen or God am I drunk? <laughs> Oh, God, am I, uh, God, yeah. am I drunk? It's a tricky one. Mm. Uh, what phrase are you more likely to say? God save, uh, God, God save the queen. God save the queen. Mm. God save oh, the English. English, okay. No, that's just a little, that's my little bit of English. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Do you prefer your country's language to be understood by almost everyone or your country's lang language to be understood by almost no one? Almost no one. <laughs> yes. Ah, thank you. <laughs> And the last question. Okay. If you bump into someone, do you say, I'm sorry, sir? Or do you say, Skål for helvede? <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant, though. That's, that's... <laughs> Wonderful pronunciation. Uh, yeah. I would, and I have to admit, I would probably say, I'm terribly sorry. So I'm, I'm quite English like that. You're very polite. Yes, I'm polite. Yeah. So I take a sip, take a sip of, of English. English. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, very good. We can, I'll put them here and get them later. Cool. Yeah. You like that game? Oh, that was a great game. Yeah. One of the best. Um, Bill, I've heard that you are very much involved in um, wildlife conservatory charity. Yes. That's right. What is that? Well, uh, I'm a patron of various wildlife um, charities, uh, societies. Uh, one of them's called SOS, which is uh, Save the uh, Orangutans uh, in Sumatra. And then I'm patron of another a group called International Animal Rescue, and that deals with animals that are the victim of the pet trade around the world. And, uh, and various other things, I'm involved in an owl charity and... Owl uh, charity. Owls, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, I, various things. When I'm not working, I tend to do a lot of work with um, wildlife. Have you saved animals yourself? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, a few times. Um, I get, you know, just to get involved in these these crazy situations when, uh, you know, you, you, you're sort of, you know, you take over, the, the, the head takes over, you know, you think this might be the wrong thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. But once you almost got arrested outside the Buckingham Palace. Uh, well, yes, that's true. I mean, I, I uh, again, my own sort of desire to help animals got me into a bit of trouble because um, Buckingham Palace... It, there's, there's, a, there's a big road which goes right past the palace, the Mall, And um, so I was driving home with my uh, wife. We were, we were, it was Valentine's night, and we were driving home from a dinner. And we stopped um, because there was something in the road in front of Buckingham Palace. And it was a goose. And um, it was injured. And it had clearly been hit by a car, and it was still flapping about. And so uh, my wife said, why don't we stop and and help it. And I was thinking, this goose is pretty injured, you know, maybe just best to put it out of its misery, you know? And I was gonna say, maybe I'll just reverse the car, just <laughs> over and, you know, you know, kill it. And then I thought, no, I can't do that because in the, when I'm telling this story, I can't say, what did you do on, val <laughs> on Valentine's night? Well, we reversed over a goose. It was a lovely, <laughs> it was a magical night. And yeah. uh, so, we got, I had a blanket in the back of the car. And I took the blanket out, wrapped the goose in the blanket, picked the goose up, put the goose in the back of the car. And just at that point, a gun was held to my head and a, a voice said, stop, don't move. And uh, of course, you know, I just froze. And, uh, and I get a bit of asthma as well. So I, I started to wheeze a little bit <gasps> like that. And he said, what's in, what's in the car? I went, a goose, like that. And I thought, I really hope he, it doesn't pull the trigger. I really, this, this is not how I imagined no. my last words, no. you know? <laughs> a goose. A goose! <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, um, and um, it was a palace security, you know, these, like, plainclothes police that patrol around the palace the whole time. And they'd seen us doing something suspicious, and they were like, what, what is it? I went, it's a goose, it's a goose. And they, so one of the, the guys, he put the gun, he pointed the gun at the goose under the blanket. And I went, look, look. And I pulled the blanket back and the goose reared up like this and the gun was held to the goose's face <laughs> like this. So the goose sort of looked round at the gun like this. And we were all in, frozen in this sort of weird kind of position, like... Yeah. Like this. And the, and the police, obviously, they felt a bit embarrassed now. And then, so they were trying to save face, you know. So they were like, like this. And then the guy had a, had a radio. You know they do that yeah, thing? Yeah. And he just went... 
And he went, stand down, just a goose. <laughs> <laughs> just a goose. Just but a I was, goose. yeah, That's just a goose. Yeah. Stand down. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking, but then I was thinking, who is he, who is he speaking to? Is it like a sniper, you know, like, <laughs> there's like a red dot on me, like, yeah, take him out, take him out. It's a goose, it's a goose, stand down. <laughs> you know, so, and it was a very scary moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nice to talk to you. Thank you. Very nice to have you here. Uh, so on the 16th of May, you will be performing in Gothenburg, and on the 17th, you will be performing in Stockholm. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that. Thank you. Bill Bailey, Rock and Thank you.